Why weren't you drafted into the Vietnam War? I went to college, sir. How do you feel about Vietnam? I have mixed feelings, sir. Would you call yourself a womanizer? No, I would not, sir. You frequent nightclubs? No, sir. Do you drink? Only on special occasions, sir. Ever done any drugs? Only those prescribed by my doctor, sir. Well, that's kind of rare for a young, hip soul brother like you. Uh, yes, sir. But my father was in the military. And my parents, they raised me the right way. How do you get along with people generally? Sir, they treat me right, I treat them right. Like I said before, I was raised up the right way, so I mean, I, have you ever had any negative... What would you do if another cop called you a nigger? Or worse? Would that happen, sir? She... <clears throat> There's never been a black cop in this city. Now, if we make you an officer, you will, in effect, be the Jackie Robinson of the Colorado Springs Police Force. And if you know anything about Jackie Robinson, you know he had to take a lot of uh, uh, guff from his fellow teammates, the fans, other teams, and the press. I know the Jackie Roosevelt Robinson story, sir. Good. So knowing that, if somebody calls you a nigger, would you be able to turn the other cheek? <laughs> if I had to, sir, yes. Yes, I would. Son, the mayor, the... Chief and I think you might be the man to open things up around here. Chief Bridges will be your branch, Ricky. I'll have your back, but I can only do so much. The weight of this is gonna be on you, and you alone. Thank you for the opportunity, gentlemen. Sybil Shepard. I loved her in the last picture show. Never saw it. I don't like black and white movies. So what do you think? I think she's a really good actress. Oh, come on. You know you want some of that. Looking for a toad here. You're up. Give me the record for that toad, Maurice Smalls. While you're at it, grab another toad. Tippy Bird song. T I P P Y. Can I help you? May I have a minute, please? Sit. Sergeant Trapp, Chief Bridges. I'll get right to it. I'd like to be an undercover detective. What, like narcotics? Whichever department works, sir. You just joined the force, rookie. I think I could do some real good there. Is that right? I'm young. There's a real niche for me. Getting where I fit in. You think a lot of yourself, don't you? I'll do whatever it takes. And I hate the records room. <laughs> well. I think records is a good place for you to start, rookie. Chief, do you want me clean shaven? I could even chop down the natural. No, 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 you keep it. I like the look. I need a file and a toad. You deaf? I said I need a file. On a toad? No toads here. Excuse me? I said, I don't have any toads. I do have human beings. You give me their names, I'll get you the file. I heard you think you're hot shit, but you ain't nothing but a cold fart. The name is Stephen Wilson.
Was that respectful enough for you, Officer Toad? Thank you. CP time? Jimmy, the rookie's late. Hey, late, rookie. Sorry, it won't happen again. We have limited time, so I'll be quick. The black radical Stokely Carmichael has given a speech tonight at Bell's Nightingale. Yep. Carmichael is a former high muckety-muck with the Black Panthers. As far as I'm concerned, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover was dead right when he said the Black Panthers are the greatest internal threat to the security of these United States. This Carmichael joker, former Panther or not, well, they say he is a damn good speaker. And so we don't want this Carmichael getting into the minds of the good black people here in Colorado Springs and stirring them up. Ron, your assignment is to go to this speech tonight, infiltrate this bunch of subversives, and just monitor the audience reaction to Carmichael's speech. You ready? Born ready. I'm not ready. <sighs> Any chance this thing fucks up? No, fuck yeah. Then what? Just stick to the game plan. Which is? Uh, he improvise, like Jeff. Like Bebop. This isn't some big bust. We just want some intel. That's it. And what if someone offers you a marijuana cigarette? You mean a joint? Yeah. Mary Jane? <coughs> Excuse me. Soul brother, I'm already high on life. Can you dig it? It's Doug. My man. And if someone pulls a gun on you? Will that happen? Barrel of a 45 in your face, Shit. finger on the trigger. Now what? Blood, get that gun out of my face. Peace, love, and soul. Gun is still in your face. I de-escalate, talk calmly, firmly, find a way out of there ASAP. Relax. We'll be outside listening in. Okay. Got it? I got it. I'm going. 